celebration on the streets of the Liberian capital, Monrovia. Supporters of former international footballer George Weir greeted news of his victory in Tuesday's runoff election with song and dance. Weir broke down in tears as soon as the results were announced. He is seen here being comforted by his running mate, Jewel Taylor, who is an ex-wife of former Liberian President Charles Taylor, who is currently serving a 50-year sentence in the UK for war crimes committed in neighboring Sierra Leone. For Weir and his supporters, it's a dream come true. A struggle they say that started way back in 2002 has finally succeeded. Because he so many names. Because he, he is not educated. He is not competent. But this is the man that he dream come true. I'm too overplay and excited. Josh, we are the president of Liberia. The Electoral Commission had just announced the preliminary results. The overall percentage is uh, CDC. Thank you, Mr. President. Is 61.5% uh, for the CDC and 38.5% for the unit party now. His opponent and current Vice President Joseph Boakai says he has had deep misgivings about the elections from the beginning. He contested the results of the first round and supported a case taken to the Supreme Court by the candidate who came third in the race. We gone into an election that we knew from start. It had a lot of problems. We were not satisfied with whether or not the instructions of the Supreme Court were followed. We were constrained to go into it, but what we want to see, what we wanted, we had all hoped for, was free, fair, transparent election. I doubt seriously if that is what we're going to get. The vice president and his unity party have not said whether they will challenge the results in court. George Weah is set to succeed Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, Africa's first elected female president who led Liberia for the past 12 years. She is credited with presiding over the longest period of uninterrupted peace in Liberia since 1989. George Weah played for a string of football clubs including AC Milan, Chelsea and Paris Saint-Germain. He is the only African footballer to have won the FIFA World Player of the Year. George Weah's victory in the presidential race is attributed mainly to his support base within the country's youth who account for up to 60% of the population. He grew up in one of Morovia's slums and his success against all odds appeals to many in what is one of the world's poorest countries. George Weah entered politics after his retirement from football in 2002 and is currently a senator in Liberia's parliament. It will be the first time since 1944 that Liberia, founded by freed U.S. slaves in the 19th century, will have transfer of power from one elected president to another. Mohamed Adou Al Jazeera, Monrovia, Liberia.